The Rockefeller family, renowned for their vast wealth and influence, has long held a deep and abiding love for jewellery. This passion for exquisite gems and ornate pieces has been a notable characteristic of the family throughout generations. As lifelong patrons of the arts, the Rockefellers developed relationships with some of the biggest jewellers of the 20th century, including Jean Schlumberger of Tiffany & Co, Marcus & Co, and Van Cleef and Arpels. So let's explore the most iconic Rockefellers jewellery pieces. Before we start, please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons. And if you wish to support me financially, you can do it via the Super Thanks button on YouTube or become my patron on Patreon. Link is in the description. The Rockefeller Winston Emerald Ring Back in 1930, the distinguished figure of John D. Rockefeller Jr. acquired a remarkable emerald with the intention of using it as the focal point in a brooch meant for his cherished wife, Abby Aldrich Rockefeller. However, after Abby's passing in 1948, their youngest son, David Rockefeller, assumed stewardship of this precious emerald. Under David's care, the Rockefeller emerald underwent a transformation, finding its new home within an exquisite platinum ring. Fast forward to 2017, this iconic 18.04 carat gem took the spotlight at Christie's auction. The gem's legacy was continued as it was acquired by the esteemed Harry Winston, who secured it for an astonishing sum of $5.5 million. This historic sale set a fresh milestone, with the Rockefeller Emerald now holding the record for the highest price per carat ever achieved for an emerald at auction, an astounding $305,000 per carat. The distinguished Harry Winston celebrated for their distinctive style and exceptional craftsmanship, subsequently crafted a new setting for the emerald, further elevating its stature in the realm of fine jewellery. Peggy and David Rockefeller Collection David Rockefeller, who lived to the remarkable age of 101, had a deep affection for bestowing his wife with jewellery, a passion that accounts for the exceptional nature of their collection. In his own words, David Rockefeller expressed, The love of beauty has, of course, been the primary motivation behind our collecting. Eventually, all these objects that have brought so much delight to Peggy and me will find their way into the hands of new caretakers, who, we hope, will derive the same satisfaction and joy from them as we have over the past several decades. While the David and Peggy Rockefeller collection boasts stunning pieces from renowned jewellery designers such as Jean Schlumberger for Tiffany and Van Cleef and Arpels, a significant majority hails from the workshops of Raymond Yard. This New York establishment served as the Rockefellers' local jeweller. The Rockefellers stood among the early enthusiasts of Tiffany & Co, creations by Schlumberger, who joined the iconic New York jewelers team in 1956. Moreover, the Rockefellers were avid admirers of the craftsmanship of Van Cleef and Arpels. Among their most notable possessions is a bold and sizable suite of peridot and diamond jewels. At the forefront is a versatile necklace featuring a detachable pier and oval-cut peridot pendant brooch, enhanced by circular-cut diamonds complemented by a detachable surmount and neck chain, all exquisitely set in 18 karat gold. This suite, dating back to 1966, also comprises ear pendants and a ring. This remarkable set found a new home at a Christie's auction, commanding a remarkable price of $350,000. The Rockefeller Sapphire the precious gem became part of the Rockefeller legacy in 1934 when John D. Rockefeller Jr. acquired it from an Indian Maharaja. Later on, the accomplished jewelers Pierre Cartier and Raphael Ismerian collaborated to expertly recut the gem, transforming it into a resplendent brooch. After Raphael's passing, 
The brooch changed hands, coming into the possession of his son, Ralph Ismerian. Ralph meticulously repolished the gem, bringing it to its present weight of 62 carats, and then elegantly set it in a platinum ring before selling. This extraordinary piece went under the hammer at a Christie's auction in 2001, achieving a price of over $3 million. Happy Rockefeller Collection Happy Rockefeller, the second wife of Nelson Rockefeller, who served as the Vice President of the United States under Gerald Ford and the 49th Governor of New York, was renowned for her captivating charm and an active social calendar. Among her exceptional jewellery collection, one notable piece stands out. A pendant necklace adorned with pink tourmaline, sapphire, emerald and diamonds. The pendant, designed in the form of a flower head, features an oval-shaped pink tourmaline at its centre, surrounded by round diamonds and round emeralds. The necklace itself is further embellished with two oval-shaped pink tourmalines and four cabochon sapphires. This exquisite set, including matching ear clips, was created by Van Cleef and Arpils and commanded a price of $150,000 at a Sotheby's auction. Another remarkable jewel in Happy Rockefeller's collection is a bracelet featuring sapphires and emeralds, which happens to be her most valuable piece. This bracelet showcases alternating tumbled sapphire and emerald beads, accented with rondelles adorned with single-cut diamonds. At auction, it was sold for an impressive $262,000. Rockefeller Pearl Jillo & Co. crafted a bespoke platinum pendant featuring 12 old mine-cut diamonds, boasting a total weight of 25 carats, and an impressive black pearl measuring 12 to 15.3 millimetres. This exquisite piece was commissioned for Geraldine Rockefeller Dodge, the daughter of financier William Rockefeller. The pearl exhibits a captivating brown hue with vibrant rose and green overtones, often poetically referred to as the Orient of Pearls. These overtones are a result of iridescence on the pearl's surface, enhancing its overall allure. The combination of well-balanced trace elements within this pearl is a hallmark of saltwater pearls, and its coloration is entirely natural. Such a saltwater natural pearl of this size and quality is indeed a rarity and stands as a true marvel. In a remarkable auction event at Christie's in late 2021, this pendant found a new owner, fetching a staggering $700,000. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons.